Deborah Johnson, D E B R I J O H N S O M. Um, first, I would like to point out a few facts about FERC and uh, how this process is done. Uh, FERC uh, is tasked with preparing this environmental study, which actually, if you go to page appendix N of the study, you will find that a subcontracted company named Mergent provided most of the scoping work and so forth for Sable Trail. Uh, Sable Trail itself is uh, a drop-down company, not a company that has any board members except one, and that board member is from Spectra Energy. So uh, we have an empty company uh, of paid consultants hiring another company of paid consultants to do an environmental impact study for an agency that is funded by the oil industry. And that's, those are the facts. So I want to bring you down to uh, the Spectra Energies. Uh, <clears throat> let's, let's go through this sinkhole thing again. I, I would like to do that with uh, sinkhole distribution and type. And the fact that Swan River Water Management District has advised, oh, you're, you're on DEIS, Environmental Study, has stated that constructing and operating the seven trial Trail project in East Georgia and North Florida could induce sinkhole development, alter springs characteristics, and impact local ground flow and water quality. Um, I would say that would be true according to this geological study that was done. Uh, you may have seen it. Everything yellow is karst, barely thin, as stated before. Uh, lime rock or no lime rock, just bare. Okay. Uh, this also is the whole pipeline route. Your, the pipeline route goes entirely through the karst area. Um, there are plans for a compressor station to be located near Itch Tuckney. Um, these will all be on, operated by Spectra Energy now that we've established that Sable Trail is a temporary company to install the pipeline. Uh, they have been known to explode. They cause, emit a lot of pollution. Scientific studies have recently surfaced that with People that live within one mile of a small compressor station have uh, experienced asthma, nosebleeds, headaches, rashes, elevated levels of formaldehyde, which is a carcinogen, increased mortality rate of people over 65, double the risk of autism, and expected mothers in the third trimester. These same health issues are being are comparable with the pattern of symptoms near fracking drilling sites. You've already, uh, in, for your DEIS says again, as it's been spoken before, that our aquifer is the most productive aquifer in the world. It, it, well, in the project, okay. uh, it produces 60% of our groundwater. Okay, so that the karst terrain the project will go through, Sable Trail project will go through, is a critical in controlling the recharge and discharge of the Floridian aquifer system and is the principal reason the system is highly productive. The Sable Trails restoration and construction methods as well as their training and inspection procedures for hazardous materials were found to be sufficient to protect the groundwater. The Sable Trail is a ghost company of the industry consultants owned by Spectra Energy. So we go back to talking about Spectra Energy and I think that enough people have said uh, have spoken about their uh, accident from their EPA violations of the worst, one of the, some of the worst in history, okay, with toxic spills and so forth. Uh, they also had an explosion of the Spectrum pipeline and in Arkansas River. Spectrum claims that they will monitor the Sable Trail pipeline for 24 hours a day for ruptures, leaks, or any problems. Well, in Arkansas. And 24 hours later, a tugboat operator reported it. Spectra never knew about it. That doesn't make me feel good. I doubt it makes anyone else feel good. Along with their PH, MSA violations. You know, we're not willing to and should not be required to accept the risk on promises made by a company that's you know solely concerned about profits and to be truthful, it's obvious exports. I mean, 
I know you don't deal with that, but that's what's going to happen. This gas is coming down for supposedly for FPL and uh, Duke Energy, both of which are invested in the pipeline, both of which, and along with NextEra, uh, all of which are invested in fracking. And of course, they want an outlet for their fracked gas. And of course, that outlet for fracked gas may be the Martin County, Citrus County, and Jacksport export stations. So why should we be put at risk? Why should our water, you're talking about our water for millions of people, a beautiful, unique aquifer and unique terrain being put at risk. Um, I want to remind you that your, one of your duties, well, first, is to, your task with determining if a public need or necessity exists when approving pipelines, as well as consideration of public study, I'm correct there, there's no public need or necessity for the Sable Trail Pipeline in Florida, Georgia, or Alabama. And public safety is at risk if the, spec, if the Sable Trail Pipeline, Spectra Energy Pipeline, is allowed to go through. We're just not willing to accept it. I want to thank you for your time. Thank Lori McCraney for her contribution to the paper. And thank you to the Swanee Democrat for their contribution. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Ms. Johnson. Thanks to Treasure Kim.